hello everyone this is mamun it has been long time i didn't make any videos um, today i am going to uh, demonstrate an arduino function that is called pulse in function this is very useful function um, there are lots of uh, sensors uh, and lots of uh, ors where you need to use pulse in function so many of us uh, actually are uh, uh, confused uh, what is the work or how does this function work so today i am going to uh, uh, demonstrate the function this function works and how it uh, how it works or how it takes uh, the sensor data so let's go first uh, we need to know what is the work of this function i mean uh, why we need to use this function uh, pulse in function the first thing is there are lots of uh, uh, sensors such as ultrasonic sensor this is a common sensor whenever you want to work with this uh, uh, ultrasonic sensor we need to use pulse in uh, uh, pulse in uh, this uh, function uh, and uh, if you want to measure a signal frequency then we also need to use uh, a pulse in function i mean digital signal frequency so uh, then we need to use a pulse in uh, function and there are lots of other sensor and other words where you can use a pulse in function so uh, how do we can call this function there are two way you can call this function in your program first is pulse in and uh, pulse in and uh, give a bracket in this bracket you have to give two parameters that is pin and value i mean uh, in which pin the pin number is uh, the pin uh, in which you will take input uh, and the value is the uh, value uh, value means actually this function uh, gives a value i mean uh, gives a value that is in microsecond the value is uh, that uh, suppose uh, you want to suppose this is a suppose this is a uh, signal this is a signal from here to here so suppose you want to measure uh, the uh, on time uh, on time i mean the one time from here to here how many time I mean, how many uh, microsecond this is on and or how many microsecond this is off so either one either off time so suppose we want to measure the off time of this signal so this is a total signal and we this is a total signal from here to here but we want to measure uh, the off time of this signal so what we can do that is suppose we want to measure uh, this uh, uh, using uh, our pin 8 so we can uh, call this function pulse in and we, we, we gave uh, here uh, pin number 8 and then the value value is uh, uh, we define this value according to uh, in which uh, uh, term or who in which uh, state we want to measure suppose now we are on to measure uh, 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 off state so i mean off state timing from here to here how many times it it is so we'll give uh, pin 8 uh, low so you know this is high and this is low this is a digital signal and, and in a digital signal normally we can uh, separate a signal into a state on is on time and off time this is or high or low so this is high and this is low so we want to measure the low time how many uh, microsecond or how many second this is this signal is uh, uh, being low so so if if i use this function and if i use the pin number uh, through this pin i connect with the signal uh, and the signal come uh, uh, this pin and then it uh, it measure how many times it is off so we can also call, uh, call this function in uh, this way i mean a pulse in function and you give uh, three parameters uh, pin, uh, pin value and timeout and here uh, an uh, extra uh, parameter is timeout this is optional but you can use this uh, the use of this timeout uh, parameter is that sometime you have to define suppose that uh, you will start uh, measuring the signal i mean you will start measuring signal from here to here suppose this is a uh, uh, one microsecond here uh, here is uh, point 0.5 microsecond and here is one microsecond so uh, now you can define uh, the time uh, whenever this function called and whenever uh, this uh, uh, pin number eight suppose pin number eight get uh, the low and it is start counting it is start counting and it start counting counting from zero to start counting 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 and till here it is uh, it uh, start uh, it it counting and whenever it gets the rising is i mean whenever it uh, uh, it it uh, comes this point it will stop counting and and the, this value i mean the time 
the how much time this is off this this give back to the i mean give return to the to a variable and using this value you can determine any kind of uh, uh, decision so um, time out uh, means uh, you can give a time that how much time uh, it will waits i mean this signal may can be uh, very long or this signal can be uh, very short so suppose uh, this signal is off time is very long so you know that your signal is uh, off time is uh, suppose one minute so you can give here uh, one minute so i mean you have to give this in a microsecond one minute uh, microsecond uh, you have to convert one minute in microsecond and put it here so suppose you know that your uh, uh, your off time is uh, uh, one minute so you have to you can give this uh, give here the number one minute and it will uh, it will counting until the uh, until uh, one minute and if uh, the signal uh, gets high before one minute then it will uh, uh, it will be okay but if the signal is uh, uh, not high uh, before the, uh, before the time we say given here i mean one minute then uh, it will uh, give you zero i mean it will not working by default uh, this uh, this function also have uh, this timeout that means uh, has timeout this option but this is by default is on 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 second so let's go and we will be clear uh, something after this slide i, I said that th there is three parameter pin value and timeout and i am demonstrate uh, the uh, parameters pin i mean the pin number you have to give the pin number of the arduino pin the desired pin number who is uh, through which you, you want to uh, measure the signal uh, the signal uh, on time or off time i mean uh, on time on time or off time and uh, this is the value i mean which time i mean uh, in which state you want to measure i mean in this state time you want to measure or this state time in, you want to measure if you want to measure this is time i mean how many time it is on then you have to give uh, uh, the value high and if you want to measure the low time when I mean how many time it is uh, this signal being low then you have to give uh, uh, low and uh, you can also can give one or one or zero you know you can give if you want to measure high time then you can give one if you want to uh, measure a low time then you can give a zero and uh, yeah and timeout timeout is optional as i said that uh, uh, is uh, wait um, microsecond uh, it's always uh, for microsecond if it, it doesn't uh, it, if normally by default it to waits uh, one uh, on second uh, on second and if this is not complete then it will uh, give uh, value zero return zero and by default as i said by default it is uh, on second and return the function if you use this function uh, in your uh, code this function will give the time in microsecond i mean how many times this is being on or how many times this is being off and uh, this is a uh, um, uh, the variable you have to use for uh, for taking this value is good to be used uh, unsigned long variable okay and a little bit more about pulse in function so what you can measure that uh, you can measure a signal uh, from uh, um, 10 microsecond to uh, 3 minutes length that means you can measure the uh, the if this uh, this on time is uh, 10 microsecond to uh, th 3, 3 minute then it can measure between this 10 microsecond and uh, 3 minute it can measure either one time or off time suppose uh, this is 10 microsecond then it, it is okay but it is if uh, the uh, uh, the on time or off time is less than uh, 10 microsecond it will not be okay or if the uh, on time off time is uh, over uh, 3 minutes then it will be not okay i mean it will not work properly so uh, probability uh, um, there is a also a probability that if your uh, signal is too short i mean uh, the signal is too short uh, short length uh, then uh, there is a probability uh, of being uh, an error in your uh, value also uh, suppose uh, you are measuring uh, a signal uh, using pin 8 arduino pin 8 and you, you want to measure uh, signal when uh, you want to measure a signal when 
uh, I mean uh, how many times the time when the signal is on so can, but uh, suppose that a number 8 pin already uh, is being high so if if so if this condition happen then uh, pin 8 will uh, start counting high 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 uh, high uh, b, uh, after it it gets one low and one high signal then it will uh, then it will uh, start uh, counting the high time so suppose uh, we want to measure uh, high time high time of, of a signal and we are here we are here then it will not it will not uh, start uh, start counting it will start counting uh, start counting first it will get the low signal then it will get the high signal then after that this from this signal it will start counting this is a start counting from here so uh, they said it uh, here uh, also the also to be noted if the point is already high when the function is called uh, it will wait uh, for the pin to go low and then high before it start counting as I said so if this is high already is high and we also measure on, we also want to measure a uh, high high time of a signal then it will uh, go low and go high then then it's uh, start counting from here and uh, there is a, a little quote about uh, uh, pulsing uh, function I uh, copied uh, this uh, quote from uh, Arduino Arduino Pace Arduino official Pace so this is a, a simple uh, program of uh, pulsing function first we, we declare a pin I mean uh, using this pin I we will take uh, the input pin 7 and we declare a, a variable in which we will put uh, our uh, pulsing function time pulsing function time and then we uh, call uh, uh, um, void setup and in this voice setup we uh, declare uh, pin 7 as input and in the loop we use uh, we used to uh, we use pulsing function and uh, and pin number uh, and use two parameter pin number and high we said high i mean whenever uh, pin number 7 gets high and it will start counting till it's going to low and the value the time is uh, will be in microsecond and it will uh, it will uh, is stored in uh, d duration duration uh, variable hope uh, you understand understand uh, what is pulsing uh, function and how does it work so but if you have any question about uh, this function or uh, anything you can comment below here i will try to uh, answer your question thank you everyone